Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, Jim Reads Too Slow. I'm Jim. Uh, it's Thursday, and so I thought I'd read another poem for you. This is a poem that I don't really agree with the sentiment of it, or the, uh, uh, the conclusions, but uh, I'm going to read it anyway. It has one of, the, one of my favorite opening lines. So, this is uh, Adultery by James Dickey. We have all been in rooms we cannot die in, and they are odd places and sad. Often Indians are standing, eagle-armed on hills in the sunrise, open wide to the great spirit, or gliding in canoes, or cattle are browsing on the walls far away, gazing down with the eyes of our children, not far away. Or there are men driving the last rail spike, which has turned gold in their hands. Gigantic forepleasure lives among such scenes, and we are alone with it at last. There is always some weeping between us. Someone is always checking a wristwatch by the bed to see how much longer we have left. Nothing can come of this. Nothing can come of us, of me with my grim techniques, or you who have sealed your womb with a ring of convulsive rubber. Although we come together, nothing can come of us, but we do not give it up. Death is beaten by praying Indians, by distant cows, historical hammers, by hazardous meetings that bridge a continent. One could never die here, never die, never die while crying. My lover, my dear one, I will see you next week when I'm in town. I will call you if I can. Please get hold of, don't, please don't, oh God, Please don't anymore. I can't bear. Listen. We have done it again. We're still living. Sit up and smile. God bless you. Guilt is magical. That is Adultery by James Dickey. And until next time, have a good one, BookTube.